Good morning. We are June 2nd, 2022. And today is just like any other day. Um, I am working. I look puffy faced and weird because it is the morning and I need my time and I'm having my coffee. It's great. It's a nice summery day. Today, what's really exciting is that the Jeff Avenue Breezy Drop is coming out and so i'm ordering stuff for my birthday and my mom used to work in fashion retail she was a merchandise manager um and we were trying to figure out the sizing here and my mom was like it's way off like well the measurements that she's showing are wrong and they're not like appropriate so she was confused and i was confused i'm gonna order the um fruit robe two summer island um bed covers and the tote bag all of that is 209 US dollars. It is very expensive. I wanted to get the headband, but I'm like, I'm so not sure because the price of that damn headband is crazy. It's like not justifiable, but I want it, but I can't justify it. I don't know. What was it I was trying to do right now? Anyway, the drop happens at 10 a.m., which is like 4 p.m. Central Eastern time, I think is how she called it um and i'm like i've been anticipating this for a long time so see you later not me fucking waiting for this countdown when it turns 10 this shit is gonna be buyable and i have to buy it because i don't know what you other girls are doing out on here but i'm getting that night robe not you me <laughs> i don't know i'm so stressed i'm like watching the time on this like waiting just waiting gonna come it's, it's coming imagine oh my gosh imagine this is the wrong time and I've been stressed out this whole time for nothing I wish there would be like uh, anyway okay now it's my boyfriend calling me because I told him that I was gonna get these things oh oh my god wait is it buyable now why is it still excuse me why is it not um excuse me why is it not live why can't I buy it Choose a size. No, 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 no. What's going on? What's going on? Wait, isn't this the right time? Isn't it like four o'clock in Sweden at this point? <sighs> okay. And then of course, as I guess fate would have it, and after months of wanting this night robe, um, most of the items I was looking for weren't updating and some of the ones I wanted were not available although they was marked as coming soon which was very confusing to me so I was trying to get everything in my basket and lo and behold I had stuff in my basket came to pay and there was no more robes in my size. As you can imagine, I was pretty disappointed, especially since I've been losing sleep over this transaction. It took me a long time to be like, I'm going to spend this much money on this. I really love it. I really want it. And then when you come into that idea and you're hyped up, it is so disappointing to not have it. Okay, I'm a little bit calmer now. I'm still really disappointed, but um, <clears throat> I signed up for the restocks if ever they happen. I think I'll just like postpone what I, my birthday gifts or whatever I, I want to whenever that restocks. But I don't like the way the site restocks because it's like only a few pieces, not everything. And like, it's so expensive already. So I'm not going to do like multiple purchases of $200 US to get free shipping. So it's just like, I find that there is improvement to be had on the way this company um stocks its products i feel like that should be taken into consideration if you're going to be charging prices like that and you have like an international fan base you have to make sure that at least the ones that are willing to pay that much money for your clothes can be able to get what they want in a single purchase and not multiple purchases um so that would be like something that i feel like drift avenue needs to improve on um and also like the, the sizing charts are very, um, not misleading, that's not the word, but they're confusing. And for instance, like from my mom's perspective, being a merchandise manager for years, in international clothing brands, um, it just didn't make sense to her. So I'm thinking there's a lot of improvement to do on the sizing charts as well. So I know it's like a small, like in-house company, but 
you know, you have like an international fan base of people who like really believe in the products, who clearly get emotional and like want whatever it is you're putting out. So make sure that the experience isn't like so fucking stressful for some, like for me, like this was so stressful, like the drop and all these things, like just make sure you have enough stock or I don't know, like just a really disappointing day for me so far so yeah i don't know like for you guys that are watching this like how do you feel about you know how things are stuck in drift avenue what it is what is it that you think could be improved should be improved what is it you think about the price range for me i think the prices are very high um it's not that i'm not willing to pay them but for that price i feel like there should be additional justification other than like we are um socially responsible i feel like for instance for the headband 49 dollars, you should go and explain what it is your pricing strategy is like why is it you put the price that you're putting into it i know some companies show the price the cost of everything they're doing so when you get to the final price you understand what the markup is um it just feels a bit more fair for from a consumer perspective anyway um I feel like anyway I'm always and often posting very raw videos where I'm clearly a bit too emotional but I guess that's just how I am I'm a bit too emotional about everything um but yeah so uh, I'm still waiting for that night robe to restock hopefully it does um at the same time as other things are restocked so I can do a purchase one time and not 25 purchases and yeah I would love to know what you think of it I hope well, I don't think I'm the only one who's disappointed in not having what I, I thought I was going to get today. Yeah. If this was your first introduction to me, you're probably thinking I'm crazy. I swear I'm not. I'm just, I'm an emotional person. <laughs> All right, bye.